So hey guys, what's up? I just got got out of a uh, screening of the period piece supernatural kind of drama horror film, The Witch. Now, The Witch is a film that's had a decent amount of hype behind it, especially amongst the horror community. When this thing, when this film was shown at some uh, film festivals, I thought it was just going to be one of those films that stayed at film festivals. But no, we got a main, I got a full big ass release, which I'm very very happy for, because it's a great, great film. The film basically follows this family who are kicked out of their, uh, like basically their hometown, their plantation settlement, um, because they appro they apparently do not. Uh, correctly follow the word of the Lord. Um, they're kicked out and they settle in this in this small patch of like valley in the middle of the woods. And after uh, some creepy things start happening, the crops don't want to grow. They start rotting away. The animals are sick. They don't you know the hens aren't laying eggs and stuff like that. After a bunch of stuff like that happens and then somebody goes missing from the family, they start to suspect that there is something going on. Well, at least a few characters do. Um, but the film, I, I should go ahead and get this out of the way. If you, if you are one of the people that thinks like that the scariest movie ever made is like The Conjuring, or if you're one of those people that can't stand a movie that's somewhat slow, then you probably won't be able to watch this movie. Because this movie is actually scary. It's actually creepy. It's actually unnerving. There are no jump scares at all. It is completely reliant on tension, atmosphere, the writing, and the acting. And that is something that is beautiful that you don't see in many horror films these days. Uh... I, I, but, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't know where I'm going with this. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, if you have a short attention span, and you think that boo jump scare movies are, uh, you know, quality, quality, uh, horror, then you might want to take a step back, because this might be a bit too much for you. This film, when I watched it, when I went to see it, just, like, a half hour ago, I say half hour because I had to get back home and I was waiting and stuff, but but basically, um, this movie, when I went to see it, there were only four other people in the theater with me, and this is a, like, maybe 300 seat, like, you know, a, uh, arena seating theater, arena, you know, like a kind of arena uh, seating theater and there are only four other people in the audience and as I walked out three of those four people thought it was a waste of time and that it was a waste of money and that the movie was terrible the other one I didn't even hear his opinion because all he did was ask me what I thought of it and then he walked out and that's it. I didn't really hear what he thought about it. But I'm going to assume maybe he was maybe he thought it was okay. Either way, I think that the way they advertised this film really made it out to be like one of those kinds of, you know, the conjuring insidious kind of movies, but it's it's really not. If anything it is more of a very very dark and gloomy uh both both figuratively and literally period piece set in New England. Um, and there are some creepy, there are quite a few creepy scenes and weird scenes that go on, but it's not like there's a jump scare a minute. Because there isn't. There's none. That being said, the writing in this film is fantastic. Like, I wouldn't say it's the best writing I've ever seen in a horror movie, but for a period piece, they got the dialogue down very, very well. Like, to where the dialogue feels genuine. And something interesting is, this film is actually partially, like, based on and inspired by folklore about witchcraft and witches, and they use actual quotes from, like, courtroom, from, like, you know, courtroom, uh, 
like like actual quotes from personal diaries and uh, what's you know and what was said in like courtrooms during the witch trials and stuff. They actually took a good amount of that, like like not a good amount. I, I you know I don't know. They took quite a few. I, they took some lines and put them directly in the film. And it is it feels like a film that was written and directed by a man who knows this shit who did the research, and who knows how to create atmosphere and tension. And that is great. Because as well as this film having good writing and acting, it has great effects and camera work. The effects in this film are really, really good. There's no CGI fucking monster ghost bullshit on the screen. There is... There is almost... you like... There is almost nothing that... There's, like, no physical demon in the film that you see. There's no ghost. Hell, even the witch in the film only shows up three times. And I'm beginning to suspect that it might have been more than one witch. Or maybe she changed her age. Um, either way, you only see this, this witch that this film is kind of about three or four times in the movie. And much like in The Babadook, that really, really helps make build tension and atmosphere and suspense uh the pacing in this film is absolutely fantastic the sound design is great the music is beautiful 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 music uh i don't really have any complaints about the movie uh if i were to make a complaint i would say like that uh there, there's maybe one or two scenes in the movie that, that felt a little bit silly. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but they felt a little bit silly. But considering this was based on witch folklore and the whole idea of like witches being evil women that fly on brooms and shit, that is, that's been around since forever. You can't take, you know, if you want to make it as realistic to what it was at the time as possible... It, you gotta make it a little bit silly here and there. And it's not, like, omega silly to where it will make you laugh. It didn't make me laugh. Um, it didn't make me chuckle. It didn't, you know, I just thought, uh, eh, that's a little, that's a little silly, but it's still creepy. Pretty, pretty fucking creepy. Uh, oh my gosh. Those are really my only complaints about the movie. Uh, if I have anything else to say before I get to the gore or anything, it would probably be that, uh, if you're waiting for, you know, The Conjuring 2 to come out this summer, or The Purge 3 to come out this summer, I suggest you go see The Witch, even though I just said, like, you know, if you're, if you're, if you are a full-on horror fan, if you enjoy creepy, atmospheric, like, horror, you should go see this. Do not hesitate to see this film, because it is, dare I even say, a new classic amongst the horror genre. Like, honestly, this film is on par with a few good, a few really good horror films from the last few years. Stuff like Starry Eyes, and The Babadook, and uh, Under the Skin. You know, it's, it's very creepy, it's uneasy, there's a lot of tension and atmosphere. On the gore meter from 1 to 10, 1 being something like... Uh, Nosferatu, which, interesting fact, the director of this film, this is his first film, at least I'm pretty sure it is, and he's going to direct the remake of Nosferatu. I must say, it's in good hands. It is in good hands. But from Nosferatu to something like Peter Jackson's Brain Dead, The Witch probably sits at like a solid three, three and a half maybe. I mean, there are a couple scenes that get a little bloody. But there's no explicit gratuitous gore in the film. Uh, overall, I would highly recommend you go see this film. Uh, you know, if you want to actually get creeped out or scared by a film. Because I'll be honest, not since, I mean, the last, you know, really atmospheric and uneasy, and like the last movie that I watched that made me feel creeped out and uneasy and just really, really messed with me was Under the Skin, and Under the Skin is is great. This film is great. I wouldn't say they're equal, but I would definitely say they're, 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 they're the witch is, is pretty close to being as, like, unnerving as Under the Skin. Um, 
basically, this is this is the most uneasy, unnerving experience I've had with a movie since I watched Under the Skin. I would give it a nine out of ten. The only reason I didn't don't give it a ten is maybe because like they like they decided to make it the, the, because the writing is so good that uh, that you know the dialogue is a little hard to understand at times because the all the actors have accents and they are using the the, the kind of English that was used in that kind of era so it's a little bit hard to understand it that's really one of the only reasons and a couple of those couple silly scenes but you know it's it's cool I'm over it highly recommend it you guys go check that one out and I am going to go edit the shit out of this video